Welcome back. We're going to take this wonderful crab mixture and shape it and mold it and get it ready for the saute pan. Um, one of the neat tricks in a restaurant are these little rings. You can buy them from restaurant supply houses. They're not very expensive. But before none better, I used to make mine out of a little Libby's fruit cup can. You know, cut off both ends, clean it out, sterilize it, and you have something about this size exactly to work with. But I like these. These are really fun. And even though I'm making crab cakes for a meal tonight, I'm going to do them in appetizer portions. I think they're prettier on the plate. Um, and then I can show you how to plate it as an appetizer. We're going to make a little mango, cilantro, lime, salsa. That's what we'll call it to go with the crab cakes. So we'll use the baby one for now. The best thing to do first is oil it. Just a little bit over the sink. With a little wonderful olive oil. Get it in there. See how much fun cooking is. My nephew wants to be a chef, I think. Connor. He's four. Connor got a chef outfit for his fourth birthday. He loves to cook and chop and stir and do all those things for mommy and daddy. So it's nice to see the culinary gene falling out somewhere in the Ix clan. Okay, nice breadcrumbs on the plate. And you'll see why in just a minute. Make a nice bed of these beautiful crumbs. Like I said, we'll probably use them all by the time we're done. Okay, nice bed. Set your well-oiled mold in the center. And, all right, I'll use a spoon. We're on to the I'll use a spoon. Your beautiful crab goes right in there. And you don't want to pack it too tight. It nice and full. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. Someday when I have an assistant, you'll see everything. We've got some postulants coming up in the fall. I bet maybe the priors would assign one of them to none better. Wouldn't that be great? We'll just get our little wish in right here, huh? Alright, beautiful. Now, here's the fun part. Once you've got it in there, flip. Woo! Flip it. Flip it good. There you go. There you go. So you can see you've got nice crumb on one end and you want it on the other. There you go. Slippery little guy. And then onto our nicely greased cookie sheet. Actually, it's not greased at all. It's saran wrap. See? See how nice that is? How that stands nice and tall. Lovely. Let's do it again. Some crab. Seems to your mold. Now this is going to have to get refrigerated for a while. So it holds its beautiful shape. That's a little much. There you go. There you go. Don't push it down too much. Alright. Get everything in there and get ready to invert. And over. Ha! That one worked way better. Alright. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. And onto your pan. Okay? Now that's the way it ought to look. Slides right out. You've got a lovely cylindrical shape there. Okay? Let's do one more. Do a little breadcrumb. Told you you'd use all of this. We're big into. Uh, Stewardship. We don't waste much in the convent. Okay. A little more. I have to have at least six of these, hopefully eight, from a recipe like this. You thought you could get away. There you go. So six to eight would be just perfect. That's two per person on an entree. One for an app. Okay. Good. Ready and Still got it. Seven years in the convent. Still got it. See how lovely that is. 
and you can do the same, but on Libby's can, that's what you got to love about this. There are always excuse me, less expensive ways to do something and make it beautiful. Beauty is a value for us, for you. Okay, we're going to put these in the fridge, let them set, and then we'll hit the fire and make the salsa. We'll be right back.